another day, another unboxing. This time, it's from none other than Jeff Bezos himself. Just kidding. Maybe I'm not. I think it's safe to say the war of affordable aluminum Amazon balisongs has officially started because this isn't in a Bally's balisong. It's a different company, um, but they wanted to send me this new balisong that's called the Attics. Oh, here's the brand right here. Own All Olive Flippers. I asked them to send me a blue one, so let's see if they actually did. A few other people have been making videos on this balisong as well. I think they send them out to quite a few people. So this looks like the standard Amazon balisong treatment. Get some spare parts, a little L tool, another screwdriver, some thread locker. And this one actually came with a nice little pouch. Let's see if I actually received a blue one of these things. Oh, sick, I did. Nice. Whoo! Dang, that blade looks crazy. Sounds pretty nice. Real quick, I just want to thank you guys for all the recent support on all my videos. It truly does mean a lot. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you help me, please my mistress, known as the YouTube algorithm, by leaving a like on this video, leaving a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions. Maybe share the video around, send it to your mom, your dad, your parole officer, whoever you want. And of course, if you guys enjoy the content here on this channel and you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button because what the fuck, why haven't you done it already? If you were smart, I'd go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Do it. Because we are almost at 15K. The 15,000th subscriber will get a lap dance. From who you're asking? I don't know. Could be me. Could be the guys who made this balisong. Could be balisong flipping. I might be able to talk him into it. Who knows? I also want to give a big, gigantic, veiny, girthy thank you to the current channel members, Modern Balisong, Cosmic Steez, AI Cosmic, Benji, and Janik Kaminsky. Those are the five current channel members. If you guys want to also be hung like Morgan Freeman and see your name up there in all my videos, you can go ahead and join the channel membership. Tiers start as low as three bucks and you get access to exclusive members only videos on top of seeing your name here in all my videos. But if that is too much of a commitment, I understand we can't all be the coolest person in the universe. So if that is too much for you, but you still want to contribute, you can also hit the super thanks button down there. It's like a nice little tip jar for, for, for my bitch ass. I'm done being a tool. Jesus, fuck. God, that scared the shit out of me. So this here is the Attics from Onal, which is another $60, very well specced out, aluminum handled balisong that you can find on amazon.com. And just like all the other ones in this category, it has 6061 channel aluminum handles, bronze phosphorus washers, and a bushing system that came pretty well tuned. Press fit Zen pins, a 420 stainless steel blade. And yeah, with this balisong, the one that kind of looks like the Mako, the Morse, and the Vault, I think it's safe to say that the uh, affordable, well-flipping, good quality Amazon balisong war has begun. We might have to work on that name a little bit, but uh, but uh, things are starting to heat up in that area of the marketplace for balisong flipping skill toys. What am I saying? Okay, I think it's time I stop talking without flipping. Let's change up the camera and continue talking but while I'm flipping so I can tell you guys how this thing flips. All right, thotty pants. How does this thing flip? Much like all the other $60 aluminum channel handle Amazon trainers, for the price, this thing's pretty crazy. Just the specs that you get out of it, the build quality that you get out of it. I think the only thing that they kind of jip out on is again, the hardware, but that's kind of like the case with all the others. On my specific attics, the uh, bite handle pivot keeps getting loose and I keep having to retighten it. And because of that, I'm starting to strip it a little bit, which is quite unfortunate because 
I had a pretty good record going on there for a little while where everyone was like, oh my God, I'm stripping these things so easily. And I wasn't because I have the delicate hands of an angel, but apparently not anymore. But also that's why they give you spare parts because they know that the quality of the hardware is not the best. And you gotta remember for $60, they do have to kind of go short on a few things. And usually hardware is one of those things if they're getting you really nice aluminum handles, a nice steel blade, bushings that are tuned well, and just making sure that this thing comes actually flipping pretty well, like the balance and everything on it. Um, speaking of which, the balance on this Balasong, this one is probably the most neutral flipper out of all the Amazon Bally's that I've tried so far, which I like. I do like a neutral flipper, um, but it also helps this thing stand out amongst the crowd. Besides the crazy look that this thing has, I mean, the blade is literally just like a cast replica of Zoidberg's arm, which is pretty fun. This is probably the craziest looking Amazon Balasong yet, at least when it comes to the blade. The handle pattern is actually quite basic. I think most of the work went to designing the blade and then it was almost like the handles were a bit of an afterthought. But I do really like the look of the clean aluminum handles. This reminds me a whole lot of my V1 Triton. But the difference is here is that there is a little bit of a design in the handles. This comes with jimping, this comes with bushings, and it's like half the price that I paid for that Triton. Now while this blade will not cut you, it can still kind of hurt you a little bit. I've been noticing that when I do those like double reverse catch aerials, sometimes if I don't time it right, I catch it like that. And these little like claw rivet things they have as the bite handle, they're not sharp, but they are tip-esque. So it does kind of hurt a little bit more when those hit you as compared to just having the spine of the blade hit you. Oh Christ. Bitch. Yeah, I like that this is more of like a more neutral flipper as compared to the other Amazon Bala songs that you could find. It helps this stand out a little bit more amongst the crowd if you want a little bit different flipping experience than let's say a Volt or a Morse or that the Marcolo one, I don't know what it's called. It's, it's like Rick C137 or something, I don't know. I don't know, Ivan has named that one. It doesn't have a name, it has like a number code and a letter. Yeah, I really like the Anno that this thing has. It's a very nice proper blue. This is like one of the best shades of blue that I've ever seen on an aluminum handle balisong. It's leagues above the blue that Squid Industries makes right now. Ah. Oh, you mother fuck. Oh, it was, it's right there. It's right there. It's just, oh, I'm not even catching her. Fuck. Oh, you big blue bitch. Come on. Ah. I just dropped. Slut? God, it took an hour to do that. So we've talked about the pros and overall it's set up to be a pretty good flipper. Now let's talk about the cons, or should I say con? Because there's really only one and it's kind of a big deal. I would honestly maybe call it a little bit of a fatal flaw to this Balasong. And it is that it does not have any grip whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know how many cuts I'm gonna leave in to the flipping demo, um, but I guess I can't say anything bad about it because it's gonna be a little bitch and throw itself at me. And my biggest problem with flipping this thing is literally just keeping it in my hands. Like, I'm not lying when it's a good flipper. Like, it's balanced and set up to be a good flipper. It just doesn't stay in my hands. Like, if this thing just had more grip, it'd be a fantastic flipper. And I'd say it could compete with something like the Volt and, like, even outclass other ballast songs like the Morse. But there's no grip. And, like, most of my effort is concentrated on making sure this thing doesn't fly out of my hands and, like, gripping it harder than I need to with my fingers to make sure it doesn't go flying out into the stratosphere. And it's quite annoying. I'm pretty over that when it comes to aluminum handle ballast songs and sadly this is one of the worst offenders of that. It's literally my biggest pet peeve when it comes to aluminum handle ballast songs. I wish aluminum handle ballast song makers would get it through their heads that aluminum is slippery and if you want your ballast song to be a good flipper it should not be fucking slippery. I am now having an aneurysm because I cannot grip this. Now you're probably saying, Denny, you literally just said this thing has a handle design and it comes with jimping. I did. And yeah, you can see it, you can see it in the B-roll. There's like this little squiggly pattern into the faces of the handles. And then this thing does have jimping. So there's like milling an actual design into the handles, right? Like where you're literally cutting material out of the handle so that there's an indent in the handle that your fingers can grip into. This is if more like if the handle design was just a tattoo. Like, yeah, they still cut out some material, but it's like the thickness of a pube. I've used that 
analogy in like the last four videos and it was all for a different reason, but it works here too. This handle pattern, it doesn't provide any extra grip. Like you can feel the pattern in the handles, but when it comes to like it actually helping you and actually providing grip, there's like nothing there. They might as well have just left these handles blank. It's literally like the handle design is only there just so it has a little bit extra like design on this balisong so that these aluminum handles aren't just blank. They really aren't providing any extra grip and it is quite unfortunate that I cannot tell you how many times this thing has slipped out of my hands just trying to just trying to do a choker fan or just trying to do a rollover or just trying to do a twirl or trying to do a ladder this thing doesn't want to stand my foot. now for the jimping there there is something there not much but it's more than what's on the like face of the handles let me put it this way the design on the face of the handles is like the thickness and the depth of a pube the depth of the jimping is like two pubes it's more but it still really doesn't help that much and I'm not trying to just be mean to the addicts or just to own all and I'm not trying to like trash their brand or anything like that. Overall, this thing is a pretty good flipper. It's just, I'm over companies coming out with aluminum handles ballast songs and them not addressing the lack of grip that comes with aluminum handles. The maker who realizes that and does something about it is gonna be the one who wins this Amazon ballast song war. Yeah, the when it comes to these affordable Amazon ballast songs, the grip is gonna be like my biggest criticism towards them because it's already obvious that for 60 bucks, you can make a ballast song that flips good out of pretty decent materials. And yeah, the quality of the hardware is one thing, but the grip is gonna be a whole other thing. And honestly, that's gonna be more important to me because one of these battle songs could be designed with like the perfect weight distribution and it's built specifically with flipping in mind, but none of that is gonna matter if you can't keep the thing in your goddamn hands. I need to calm down. And with this battle song, I'm struggling a lot more than I am with the Vulp or even the Morse. Like the Morse isn't the grippiest thing in the world, but it does have more grip than this battle song. Now, maybe that's just me. Maybe most other people in this community have no problem with grip when it comes to aluminum handled ballast songs, but I do. And I'm sick of seeing these clean ass, sweet looking aluminum handled ballast songs and I go to flip it and I hate it because I can't keep it in my hands because it's slipperier than your mom when she watches my videos. So am I saying this is a bad product? No, I'm just saying I can't keep it in my hands and that's a pretty big negative to me personally. Maybe other people aren't gonna have that problem, but that is probably my biggest problem with this ballast song. And it's really disappointing and annoying because I know that this thing could flip much better and I could have a lot more fun flipping this thing if I didn't have to focus on making sure it's not gonna fly out of my hands. And that's why I can't really give this thing the raving review that I wish I could give it. So I don't wanna turn into one of these reviewers that is known for like their negativity and for just like trashing everything, like movie reviewers nowadays. Like you know how movie reviewers just absolutely shit themselves whenever a woman has a leading role in anything now. God forbid it's a person of color or someone that's gay. And I mean, I'm not going to turn into that because I mean, that's not a valid criticism of movies, but like not having grip is a valid criticism of ballast songs. So but I just don't want to be like one of these negative little assholes. Like I didn't start doing ballast song reviews and demos just to trash ballast songs that I didn't like. While it doesn't have good grip for me personally, it still does flip really well. So like if you don't have a problem with grip when it comes to aluminum handle ballast songs, I would heavily recommend this thing because it's a good price. It's easily accessible and it's pretty much always going to be in stock. So while I still do highly recommend this ballast song for any beginner or anybody that's on a budget. When it comes to like ranking them, I would recommend the Vulp first off if it's in stock. And if not, then I would recommend the Morse and then I would recommend this. Maybe I'd recommend this one before the Morse. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think that all depends on like which design you like more. I, I don't know. Just please stop making aluminum ballast songs that don't have grip. Like everyone should know that by now, but no one does. And I just got to sit here and just go fuck myself. So yeah, my recommendations for Onal's Addicts V2 or the next ballast song that Onal possibly will make is uh, give it a grip pad and make that grip pattern be significant and actually test it to make sure that it helps with the grip of the ballast song. Like there's no point in putting a design or putting jimping into a ballast song if it's not significant enough to actually help. And with the way that the Addicts is being made right now, it might as well just be blank handles because this jimping and this handle design really does not do much. And it's kind of a bummer because again, if you hadn't caught on yet, my biggest negative, really the only negative that I have with this ballast song is just that the grip is balls. But everything else I really like about this thing. I think it's another great addition to the affordable ballast song market. I just wish that if they revise this thing that it ends up coming with more grip. So I think with that, we are going to end this review of the Own All Addicts. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. Once again, if you enjoyed, I would really appreciate it if you let me know and help support this video by leaving a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions, share the video around, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. We're on the road to 15,000 subs. We are
are almost there. So I really appreciate it. A big thank you to Onal for sending me this ballad song. And a big thank you to you guys once again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.